M-I-N-D is a corruption. If you look under D in the dictionary, you'll see all those D words that are that are uh, darkness, doom, destruction, devil, you know, all these terminologies that are um, uh, showing that the D, when you turn it 90 degrees over, it's the sun setting because the first three letters, uh, which is originally the A-V-G, the AVG are symbols of light. The A is the, the light coming down. The V is the physical creation. That's why the military all have the V on their shoulders because they're, uh, you know, they're uh, representing what was supposed to have been the virgin, but they've corrupted the virgin into a whore and they, they wage a warfare, uh, perpetual war on earth. But the word mind, M-I-N-D, is one of their corruptions. So it's one of their words. It's not original and it's, it's deflective of the light. And so man... Mayan would be the more, uh, or just say main, because what is your mind? It is your main frame, right? It's your processor. It's it's what everything else extends. Um, you know, even the the, uh, the 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 you know the um, what do you want to call it? The electrical frequencies and uh, the physical uh, spawn, uh, reactions of your body are, are dependent upon the mind. You know, the nervous system. So, so so we have to we have to get back to original thought and original words. Original thought is the term that I coined uh, several decades ago as what I was uh, discovering, what was being revealed to me by the great father of light. And uh, I'm not smart enough to figure this stuff out, Ron. It's it's revealed by my tree of knowledge, Yeshua. And uh, I um, and it's been a long journey to have these mysteries unfold. I had to keep struggling and suffering and denying myself in order to be able to receive such uh, an insight into uh, what are not uh, words, in other words, um, in like our uh, received scriptures today, it says in the beginning was the word. Notice the word was. Wait a minute, was the word not is the word? It's no longer. You see right. how the occultic have played a trick on us, and we never get the point that that the, in the beginning is the word, but yet in the Greek it says logo. So. Now, if you take the word logo, we know that that's a symbol, right? A logo is an image. And then if you take that modern version now, in the beginning, was is the word, put an S in front of it, you get sword. You know, so wait a minute. Okay, so so in the modern English, it's a code for, a word is a code for a sword. Because in the ancient, you know, when they had, uh, the, the people could see the writing on pages because they didn't have books except for the wealthy, right? So there were common people say, hey, oh, can you read those burning swords of fire that are on the page? So literally, they were burning swords of fire, the swords of fire. So what is the sword in the beginning? It, it is a symbol and a logo. So in the original thought, in the Indo-Germanic mother tongue, it is Asha Vor. The Asha the A is the prime letter of the alphabet, number one. It is the projection of light coming down. The point of the capital A is coming from infinity and the projection out of the two of the two columns that are that are pointed outward is uh, going into infinity, from infinity to infinity. And, and these symbols are so powerful and so important when you can see them that way. And then you read on another level that is called lexiography, lexicography, because you're, you're literally um, defining it by uh, terminology. So Eshavor, it's, uh, it's spelled A-S-H-A-V-O-R with a silent T. At, at the end of it, the T is the royalty. It represents, that's what Yeshua was nailed to, was a T, a cross. Uh, and uh, so it represents a uh, uh, navigational instrument as well as uh, the weapon of the sword, the flaming sword, and, um, and, and of course, uh, ritual sacrifice and the curse and all these other things. So, so Eshavor, in the beginning, is the Eshavor. That's the Indo-Germanic. And I don't want anyone changing my words, uh, Ron. So, so I have gone back to discover what my original words are because they belong to my heritage and my, and my ability to go back home. If everybody, if, if you had a roadmap and all the words were changed on your ro roadmap and all the names and places of things and the numbers on the highways, do you think you're going to get back home? Of course not. You're lost. Right. Well, that's what they've done to us. That's right. That's and so so they do it outside the Vatican. It's right in our face. Uh, for the first couple of decades, I kept saying, you know, they're abbreviating the words. They're 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 cutting off a few letters here, cut off a few letters on the front, a few letters on the back, you know, and then uh, and change the letter and all that. And I, you know, I was saying they're abbreviating the words. And then I come to find out when I read the secret uh, archives of the Vatican, right in there, the lady said that. Uh, that else they uh, they manipulate the words 
outside the Vatican at a place called, of all things, the College of Abbreviators, run by the Jesuit Curiae. They put the cure in your eye, and you got and money. It was, and it was the Jesuits, it was the Jesuits that brought forth Vatican II. Right. Yeah, it's always been a shell game. In other words, the, the only the puppets in the Knights Templars were killed, but the real key players, the real brokers, you know, they didn't get hurt. They sold out their own people. Remember, it's always um, a dual system. So there's the outer circle and then the inner circle. So the outer circle gets sacrificed to preserve the, the baby and, you know, the treasures and the, the knowledge. Uh, you know, they go underground, basically become Scottish Rite Freemasons and, uh, and Jesuits, and of course. Uh, and so it's all, a, 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 you know, a trade-off, a, a a re reinventing, you know, right of of uh, of something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they they they. I mean, I mean, uh, you know, Canada, the corporation, was it said we were given. It, it says this in a document I found. It says we were given good. We were given responsible government. This goes to your dictionary again. We were given responsible government, but. The word responsible and responsible government doesn't have the dictionary meaning of the word responsible. Okay. Yeah, which, just like the word mind control is not in there either. Which makes us the responsible party, right? They flip right. it all the time, right? That's right. That's right. Yeah. So, so a word that they, they took from us is uh, Mezar. Uh, if you read the Fenton Bible from 1905, uh, Fenton said, I'm, I'm going to, uh, when he was in college in the mid 1800s, he said, I'm. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, he saw the young people back then uh, getting into sports or, but, you know, they, they didn't want to follow the, the, um, you know, the spiritual tradition. And so he uh, was uh, perplexed by that or, or um, what do you want to say, motivated by that to um, then say, okay, I'm, you know what, I'm going to go back and read the scriptures myself. And I'm not going to read the English versions. I'm going to read only the Greek and only the Hebrew. And he did it for 40 years. He became the all-time expert on Greek and Hebrew. And then he did his translation. And so after 40 years of study, it's ironic because it was where I'm at as well, just uh, closer to 50 now for me. But, you know, over 40 years, the great symbol of the world being in the wilderness. Um, he then does his translation. And literally, he brings out what um, was not brought out in any of the other scriptures because he could read. Uh, and well, he and he had no political agenda. He was being honest because the priesthood, you know, the Vatican and all of their, you know, echelon, they have an agenda to keep us their slaves. So therefore, they they uh, that's where I said they switched out words. They changed the, uh, you know, letters and all that. So but uh, Fenton, he um, he really got it right because he in his uh, translation shows that it was not Egypt back then. It is Mezar and uh, the plural would be Mezarim. Um, they they spell it in the corrupt form of mitzar mitzar, but I bring back the original uh, form based on the Indo-Germanic. So so Egypt uh, literally just came on the scene about 300 years ago, and it's a code word for the number eight, and it means to return because they return everything back to their um, you know their hands. And just like the word attorney, uh, the word attorney you know means to keep within the possession of the royal family. So it's a uh, it's uh, the bank. That's why the bankers, when you get the mortgage, it's a unilateral contract. They never sign it. You know, they right. never sign on with you. And that's why in the uh, uh, the uh, biblical dictionary of Judaica about all the you know the Jews uh, in there, it uh, it says that uh, if that if the if the Jew does not sign the contract, then and only you sign the contract, then at any time he can come back and take what was his, even if he had. Uh, you had already paid for it, you see. Right. So, so it's a shell game. It's, it's. We have to, we have to know the law. We have to know words. We have to know history. We have to know so many things in order to be safe and protected from this occultic uh, world that wants to eat us alive. And they do a pretty good job of it. And they're almost done. By well, the way. you know, it, it's so, it's so. I mean, Canada here. You know, the founding father of Canada was John A. Macdonald, and who was John A. Macdonald? John A. Macdonald was a lawyer, liar, deceiver, and a Freemason. Uh -huh. Well, how can you think that you <laughs> that you're living in a in an honest country? I mean, yeah, it's, it's impossible. You, yeah, you can't have true freedom and uh, lawful lawful uh, society with secret societies because, uh, as Albert Pike said in his book uh, Morals and Dogma, uh, that he penned in the late 1800s about there would be three civil wars. 
uh, and that in the end, the last final, the third, so the the third war. I, I said civil wars. I mean world wars. That the third one, they would use Islam uh, to 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 destroy all of Christianity. And and by and then he also mentioned in there, uh, we quote to quote Albert Pike, we wage all revolutions. So they're saying that the Freemasons are behind all the revolutions. Of course, for the the. Uh, a uh, Kabbalistic uh, banking front of the Jews, and behind that is the Jesuit, the highest higher power. But it does go past the Vatican. I want to say it goes back into the ancient Aryan Brahmin priesthood. The Brahmin is a, is a corruption of the word sovereign. They call themselves the sovereign. That's where the word originates. And I got all that in the dictionary as well. But um, but the the front of the of the the Brahmin is the Hinduism. Hinduism is the front. Uh, they also uh, are have the, the Tibetan priests up in Tibet. Wearing the orange, by the way, the, th the number uh, orange represents the 33 degrees, and uh, and also the power of the sun, the sunrise, and so they're telling us, you know, that the the, the front is also the Tibetan priesthood, and um, and in those mountains, those Caucasus mountains in the mountains of Tibet, they've got all their secret technology. They, um, you know, the anti gravity vimanas and their aircraft and all that. You know, it's so um, so so much uh, that uh, we have. Uh, been deceived and um, deflected from. That's why in the word education, ed, ed, as with an editor, means to remove. So if you got an education, then then it, then it means that there's a whole lot of stuff that they uh, took uh, from the table that you don't know about that uh -huh. they do, you know, ed. Exactly. Yeah. Educated. It's really, I'm really enjoying this because you're so well versed in this. It's absolutely amazing. And, and I hope the listeners uh can grasp some of this stuff uh you're gonna have to do some study and uh we're gonna go for break here uh for Good about hear. four minutes <laughs> okay. and uh back at the top of the hour but uh w once we get back uh, i gotta do a little intro for the uh donations and that after the top of the hour but once we get back into this i want i want you to make sure that we get the the your your videos on your youtube site and any information that you've got and all connections to it because i do believe that if people spend some time following what you've learned over the last 40 50 years that that more than anything can help them open their eyes yeah uh, and and they have to open their eyes because you see I have a I have a you know this this re 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 uh, birth or whatever you call it you know I always believe that it's once you see and once you know you can no longer be deceived and now you've been reborn because you can't be deceived once you see and know um, and um, so this is very very important uh, today so we're gonna go for break. And we'll be back in about four minutes, uh, top of the hour, and uh, Desert's going to come back and uh, give us a whole bunch more information that we desperately need to know about, okay? So hang Thank in there you, with us, and we'll be back at the top of the hour. Okay, thanks, Desert. All right. Okay, welcome back to the show. Uh, this is Rock the Boat right here on Revolution Radio, freedomslips.com. Uh, my guest today is Desert Owl who uh, is going to uh, continue to educate you. Uh, but before we get back to that, uh, Revolution Radio, and we have to keep these networks on the air. There's not enough of them. There's not enough truth coming out. Um, and it's listener supported. So you got two choices here. One, they have some products for sale. Go look at the products. If you see a product that you can use or like, purchase it, please. If not... Uh, there are different ways to donate and uh, look around and you'll find the different ways and uh, reach in your pocket and pull out 10 or 20 bucks of which you can easily donate beats buying lottery tickets and uh, and uh, keep the network on the air so that we can keep getting information out to people so they understand the reality that they're actually living in, which is really a fiction. So, Desert, we got you? Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm just enjoying the hell out of this, i, I got to tell you. I mean, your, your, your depth of uh, knowledge is, is, is probably the best there is out there. I was dedicated uh, uh, to this uh, because, yeah. uh, I, you know, in other words, the, the father made me. You know, I didn't 
make myself. He he put me in a position in life where uh, I was hatched, you know, by my parents, and I was just a free range chicken, and everything I learned was through my friends at school and everything. The worst way to learn about life. Nobody, you know, talked to me. I'm very introverted. It's hard. It's hard to imagine, you know, what you, you know you see and I've done that I be, would have been introverted. I couldn't talk in a crowd of people, you know. And but but I saw my dilemma in this world that uh, I was denied something. I was missing something, and I, you know, couldn't put my finger on it. It's like when you were closing on the, on the lab before the last break, you know. I want and the way you were closing out, and I and with the, you know, and I want to say so. Therefore, the people are not you're not crazy. You know, the people are not crazy because they, they literally, um, you know, will get you going to a courtroom and to crying, crying over uh, a, a taillight that was put out and you're a criminal, you know, because your taillight right. was out. They got us thinking that we're the most miserable people on earth when um, the truth is they're the most miserable um, and they're, and they're, uh, it's a controlling faction. It's like uh, five, it was stated by one guy they ultimately took, took down uh, that he was an insider and he came out, but he says the world is ruled basically, in, in, you know, by the key players by about five thousand people. There's about five thousand key players on the planet on the chessboard yeah. that are yeah. you know really and, and pulling we're the allowing, And we're allowing those few people uh, to dictate our lives, which is really sad. Uh, you know, wh when you said about about uh, oh, what was his name? The Freemason, Albert uh, Pike. Albert Pike. Uh, you know, and, and what people need to understand is this is the Third World War. The Third World War was it was was planned prior to yeah. the end of the Second World War. Yeah. Or, and or the Third World War is about consent. Yeah. Or they're not bombing or, you. They're getting you to consent. Yeah. Well, based upon the fact that they now have us held hostage in our homes, I felt I felt like, you know, the last couple of days I was saying I, I should have a T-shirt. Uh, they won the war. You know, because they, they got us now in a cell. We can't socialize other than by telephone with people now. Otherwise, we're criminals and we go to jail. So they they played the game. You know, and when we talked about symbolism, I was telling my friends last uh, spring, you know, I used to interview, I don't know if you remember Glenn Keeley out of the uh, uh, Canadian Institute for Political Integrity. I was friends with Bev Collins, and we used to do live broadcasts together and also with Ian Murphy from Australia. But Glenn, he was a protester in front of the parliament in there in Ottawa, for a thousand days, he held up a sign: "Government takes back five percent kickbacks." And um, and so I became friends with Glenn, and he grew up in the French schools in Quebec, but then he was transferred to the English uh, schools, and he said that you know what they had two different versions of history, and so that was like his his opener for um, uh, uh, being able to see things with a very keen eye, and he ultimately could interpret the, the plays of Shakespeare, which were actually written by uh, F Sir Francis Bacon. Uh, but, you know, Glenn uh, said when I interviewed him like 20 years ago, uh, and because I was just repeating his words in, in the fall to my friends, and he says that, you know, the reason when you go to the eye doctor, they tell you that uh, 2020 vision is perfect. It was so that all the occult society members wouldn't forget 2020, you will see things perfectly when we get to 2020. And there was even a TV program uh, called 2020 in the Americas with yes. uh, our, our, uh, with um, Steve Bell and uh, uh, Barbara Walters. And it's interesting because Steve Bell, Steve, Steve is star fan and Bell is ball. So it's, the, it's their Luciferian ball in the name of the even the guy who's the host on the program. You know, it's, they pick the people. You know, so per perfectly with the names. They got a list of names, and I'm certain that they peg them for certain careers within okay. the objective because it fills the bill. You know? I don't know if you ever saw the video of Walter Cronkite where he was getting his uh, award from the World Federalist after he quit being a broadcaster. I think I did. Mm -hmm. And and he's and he, you know he was he, and he says uh, how proud he is to sit at the side of Satan. Right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's wild stuff, and and these are the people that that people tune into. You know the the, the you know the voice you can trust, Walter Cronkite, uh, which yeah. is like exact opposite again, right? Yeah, uh, uh, but can't trust any of but them. to uh, help accommodate our listeners, uh, uh, Ron, maybe we could give out the contact information because I don't. If they got to go, then they you know we may want to help them out. Well. Yeah, I want, I want, I want you to uh, definitely. Well, I don't know what the name of. I've been to your your YouTube. I, can't, I don't remember what the name All of right. it is. Right. Right. Okay. So, so I have. Um, 
uh, four YouTube channels that are up. One uh, I can no longer go to anymore because I lost uh, my computer system was taken down by the local Masons here, and uh, they uh, they they hacked into it and uh, and deleted everything on my computer. So um, so uh, therefore um, I have okay. So but but it's still there. So the my oldest channel is the four words the as in the T H E the forbidden history series the forbidden history series all normal spelling and everything and then um now uh today i have a uh, uh a, a new channel i hope to get back on to doing some live broadcast on which is forbidden history archive four three words forbidden history archive no the in front of it, this forbidden history archive and then um I'm, i've been getting um the only one been interviewing me uh has been ninja down in australia and so her channel is ninja cat she's just one of my loyal friend friends and listeners uh, uh sister in christ and um and so she's been uh, uh stumbled into the program and then had a conversion in her own right and um and i was uh, very honored and taken uh in by that and she wanted to produce so so her channel is ninja cat and you'll know it because you'll see a, a black cat on the uh you know on the logo uh, my my logos have uh, me with sunglasses on so you can't miss it uh, to know uh, there are other forbidden histories out there i actually coined the term on the internet i started a hard copy with the catalog 28 page catalog the forbidden history series in 1997 and then somebody published a book based on he was connected with an associate doing my typesetting and so the word you know phrase uh, forbidden history took off now even uh, um, uh, graham hancock you know who who's um, one of the best uh, jur uh, journalists, archaeologists uh, out there uses the term forbidden history. So it's uh, everybody's using it now. But uh, but I'm the original uh, forbidden history, and uh, and so um, so if you go to uh, the other the one, if in other words, if you if you don't have a lot of time and you just want to get the you know the 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 slice of the presentation without any of any, uh, music or you know uh, background uh, stuff, then just go to the cosmic essence three words the 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 cosmic essence and there you will see uh, selective um, uh, presentations on what we consider to be the most important who the who adam really was the true nature of adam uh, and then also the watchers who they are and then just other uh, things about the flood the, nobody pe pegs the flood uh, as well, accurately, and I'm the only one apparently that's pointing to it correctly, being the Mediterranean Sea that flooded in when Africa and Europe split apart, and then for 4,000 miles all the way to the Levant, and that's why today there's uh, you know about 200 civilizations under the Mediterranean Sea, and even little islands with cobblestone roads that go into the Mediterranean Sea because there was no ocean, no sea there uh, pr prior to the flood of Noah, and. And that's why Gobekli Tepe, they, ever, they, ever, they want everyone to think that after they were done with Gobekli Tepe, these uh, you know, giant um, stone monuments that were made, they claim to be the oldest in the world, they thought, we better bury Gobekli Tepe now. Let's everybody go to work. Let's hand, take buckets of dirt and fill it up. No, it wasn't the buckets of dirt. It was the flood that encroached in from the Atlantic Ocean that buried Gobekli Tepe. And interesting that nobody ever says what is the most obvious, and especially when Noah's Ark was discovered on the other side of it by Ron Wyatt, 100 miles inland, right, in the face of Mount Ararat, not on top of Mount Ararat, but in the face of Mount Ararat. So, so, it's, uh, so as I've been, uh, well, uh, okay, let me give out that information now. I don't want to get into another story. Uh, so if anybody wants to copy the di dictionary that I'm referring to today that Ron is so kind to bring on uh, to share with uh, you know, his uh, listenership, then um, you can get uh, uh, the latest draft, which I just sent to Ron yesterday, and um, it's it's about uh, 80 pages now, and uh, I don't know how many definitions are in there, but they're selective based on all of my years of study and bringing it on other broadcasts and presentations. It's my fifth or sixth attempt at, an, at a dictionary now, uh, and it's perfected in this because I've become adept in the Indo-Germanic. I now can read the code uh, uh, other than maybe those who are in secret society somewhere, you know, I, there's nobody on the internet or nobody able to define. They don't even mention Indo, in the Indo-Germanic. You know, it's rather ironic, but that's the evidence that that there's something going on here, and so it's being revealed in this dictionary. Yeah, so, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put those documents up on my, I'm up, up on my blog, Canadian Truths. 
Okay. Uh, and, uh, yeah, because, and that's... Uh, and when we get the other website built, I'm going to put it up there too because I, I don't mean to butt in, but 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 you know, when you said the Masons and that uh, took down took down one of your uh, sites or whatever. Yeah, they've been stalking uh, here. Uh -huh. w w my blog, uh, because I understood the fraud of uh, of the renewable energy because i i figured that out back in the 70s when we had the saudi oil crisis mm -hmm. and um and uh, you know and i know that people shouldn't have any problem doing research today because when i did the research on that particular crisis uh um which was a fraud uh in order to uh drop the tariffs on the imported cars which led to free trade which led to the gutting of our in, uh, industries um to 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 dig through you know the old reference books uh to paint the picture of who's involved in what who's connected to what mm -hmm. it was a lot of work compared to today i mean people you know need to quit putting these stupid memes up all over the place and start reading something and they've taken the, yeah. the want of people to read away from them mm -hmm. uh, people can't read more than two or three paragraphs sometimes uh because their brain doesn't work that long um uh, mm -hmm. so but but my blog used to get i was getting thousands of hits a day and getting calls from all over the united states all over canada uh on this renewable energy nonsense and the wind farms and that. And then I got a notice, <laughs> you'll get a kick out of this. I got a notice. The Vatican is now following your updates. And, <laughs> and, and, and my hits went completely in the toilet after that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know, interesting. Yeah. Well, they got it. They, they know how to uh, throw logs in the gears uh, to mess things up. But if anybody wants to get the dictionary, I'll give out the uh, contact information, Ron. It's they want to use the email. Uh, they can go right to PayPal or Vimeo, uh, Venmo, Venmo uh, right now with, uh, with this email. And any size donation, uh, we'll get them a copy. And if they don't have uh, the funny money, then we get them the copy anyway. Okay, so it's uh, Yo Shelly G, and I'll spell that. It's uh, Y-O-C-H-E-L. L E G as in George at gmail.com. That's yo Shelley G at gmail.com. That's Y O C H E L L E G at gmail.com. Okay. PayPal or Venmo, or you can contact uh, us direct here. Uh, also, uh, my, if you're having trouble for any reason, or you just uh, want to do an interview, then you can uh, uh, get me direct at, um, uh, forbidden History Live at gmail.com. That's all one word, Forbidden History Live at gmail.com. Or if you want to call and uh, if you have a question on something, you're trying to figure it out, I don't mind taking a call. I like to do, you know, a question and answer live on the broadcast because a lot of people benefit that way. And I don't have a lot of time, you know, doing this dictionary for, uh, for chatting. So, but uh, my phone number, if you want to do an interview, 608 566 7295. Uh, that's uh, a Wisconsin number, but I'm here in Millersburg, Ohio. 608 566 7295. And thank you for uh, allowing me to do that, uh, Ron. Oh, it's, it's good because people need to, to, to get involved with that information. You know what it's like. Eh? People, people just, they don't, they don't, they don't want to get in. They just react to whatever's coming at them that day. Yeah. You know, and uh, and then, then in a day later, you know, if you go into a coffee shop, you'll hear people talking about what was on the news that day, and you go in the next day, and they're talking about what happened to the news that day, but it, it doesn't get them anywhere. It doesn't get them any knowledge. Yeah, well, I think it was, um, uh, who was that, um, he was, uh, 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 um, mm, he was one of those guys that was had the good quips, uh, and it was like 100 years ago. And he says, "Those who read the, uh, don't read the newspaper are, un, uh, are are uninformed, but those who do are misinformed, and that's why we have to find the alternative uh, media. There's so many so many great researchers out there, and they bring it on the internet. And of course, that's why you get the internet. We get attacked by you know uh, they they coined the term fake news and all this other oh, stuff. Yeah. You know, it's the George Orwell battle. You know, uh, they it's newspeak, 
it's their speak and they rewrite the history and they do it just like um, on the mainstream news because I watch them periodically just to see where they're go where the game is going and um, or what what the propaganda is really all you know like and uh, either the psychopaths running the world or the victims that are the puppets the puppies and the um, the, the the slaves you know they're they're um, you know I feel so so sorry I can't imagine what it would be like to be you know a couch potato just watching the sports game drinking the beer and potato chips and nothing else you know that uh, or just you know playing ping pong or the games you know all the entertainment of the serpent because you know people don't even know what the serpent is uh, Ron let me throw that one out you at you because this is the game that's been played on our scriptures because just like the word Bible well buy means dual system right a buy cycle means two cycles right uh, uh, and so um, so the so the Bible is literally a code it's not the original word would be shofar shofar is what means book and so it's a total cover on you know the on the terminology I hope I don't forget where I'm going to go with all this now but uh, so so Bible means uh, two uh, two pow uh, two powers you know and uh, and the bib is the is the uh, what a baby wears you know, to, uh, so she doesn't, um, uh, you know, get messy. And so the bib of the L, L are the Elohim, the enlightened ones, the ancient Vekeresh that run our world. And, you know, and I did, I, I was, my, my greatest fear is I should have wrote down what I was going to say now. It'd take me a minute to remember. Uh, uh, what, do you re know where we were going with that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, it'll come. Well, it'll well, come. Wait, wait, when you when you speak of the Bible, yeah, right. Um, oh, I know where I was going. Hold on. Oh, okay. Hold, can you hold that thought? Because because yep. all right. Because um, the, the 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 one of the greatest covers is who the serpent is. You see, because when you look in Strong's uh, concordance, and by the way, Strong's concordance lies, and you have to know you're being lied to in order to discover the truth. And, I, and it was easy to, to, to figure it out once I knew how to test it. But um, it's Naga. And Naga is an abbreviation, as we talked about, they abbreviate words, into the Nagash or the Nagesha. And the Nagash is the, is the, is the, is the, is the real original word uh, in the Indo-Germanic for serpent. And so who is the serpent? I don't know snakes that can talk, but I do know people who act like snakes and they know how to talk. You know. And so, so the serpent was Adam. He was, he wanted his woman. This is the fundamental nature of this story. He wanted her, but they were given a warning. If you do this thing, you will die. And so he says, uh, come on, did, 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 you know, and then he poses the question to her and he says, oh, this ain't going to happen. You know, he doth know the great Elohim knows that we will be like Elohim if we do this thing. And so, so, so in these words, you know, so the serpent to show you that we are the serpent, and they converted it into a false narrative called Satan. That this, because when Yeshua, let's ask the question, when Yeshua was tempted 40 days in the wilderness, would he not have been tempted with the same temptation that uh, whatever caused the temptation would not be the same as in the garden when Adam and Eve were tempted, right? Then, then the same temptation would be uh, parallel with what Yeshua is going through for 40 days without eating. And it was because it wasn't the the um the um and you know some invisible creature that flies through the air the serpent is the the flesh and so he's starving and his ego is saying to him come on you know you can make bread we knew he could make bread right he made it for four thousand made bread for five thousand but when it came to making it for himself when he's at the point of starvation he says, man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of Yahweh. He would not use his power uh, for his own self-gratification. And then his family found him. They were called angels. That's another false narrative. But it was the royal family. That angel was supplemented the word Malik. Okay. And so to show you that, that we are the serpent, Ron, it's been in front of you all your life and you never saw it. And I don't know what you do know or don't know. So therefore, I'm assuming you haven't been able to put your finger on what this serpent is, right? Okay. All right. So, so what do you what do you put on every day when you get out of bed? My Two socks. things. Well, beyond your socks, you know your mane, your mane. Yeah. What do you put on? You you pull up your pants. Pull up, pull you pull up, up your pants, yeah. And you put on your shirt. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So it's called shirt and pants. Shirt pants. Shirt pants. Serpent. You see it. You put it on every day. You dress the serpent every day. Shirt and pants. Shirt pant. You think that's a Zionist joke on us? Well. 
shirt pants. Come on. It's you know, it's in the word, right? Because we the flesh is the serpent. You see, this is the original thought. This is the ancient uh, idea that has been stolen from us about who we are, where we are, why we are, and when we are. Right? Who who is a there is no talking snake. The serp the naga, which meant the wise one, because serpent in the in the ancient meant uh, a wise serpent. You see, he was all knowing already because he was the one who named all things for all the time that Yeshua was making all things. Adam named them, so he was the bright and shining one. You see. The bright and shining one that they converted then into the false narrative of Lucifer because they didn't want to know who we are as an Aryan race. That the Aryan race had was made first. As I said, Adam was made first before all other things. Then he was taken up to the throne of the sun, which is not Eden, but the atom, the, at, the symbol, the great logo. And then all of creation is coming down. And then the last thing to come down is Adam. He comes last. He was made first. He comes last. He's an archetype just like of Yeshua, the first atom, the first made of anything made in this universe. And then though he came at the end of time, 2,000 years ago. So Adam is then was supposed to come down with this knowledge and to give it to all the races of mankind who are already here and to give them the truth about who we are, where we are, when we are, and why we are. But instead, the, uh, the Aryans became arrogant in their head knowledge and said, you know, we could enslave everybody and they could all serve us and we could, you know, and that's where the story of the fallen watchers come. They weren't angels in this terminology with, you know, wings on their back and they fly through the air and they're invisible. It was the Aryans. They were the, the cousins and brothers and offspring of Adam, you know, and Enoch. You know, they, it's, it's, it's found in the, the books that came out of Ethiopia, first and second uh, Adam and Eve, so first and second book. And in there, it it's clearly spells it out that they want that there was, a, you know, the Aryan race mated with the spotted redheaded, spotted leprosy, you know, stain of blood uh, of Cain, the children of Cain, you know, and um, they had the curse. So they became the Phoenicians, by the way. There's so much. I, you notice I try to roll real fast, uh, uh, Ron, because there's so much to talk about, and I and I have a habit. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm enjoying the hell. I'm just enjoying this to no end. I mean, this is... This is why I want people to go to your to go to your YouTubes and and and, uh, and uh, listen to this stuff, okay? Because yeah. because you know the depth of your knowledge is is immense, and um, and, and 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 how are you going to make people strong? Well, knowledge makes them strong. Yeah, knowledge. That's right. Confidence. Yeah. You, when you know that you know that you know, and nobody can pull the wool over your eye anymore. Uh, there, that's that's the sovereignty, you know that that because sovereignty is in the mind. It's not in the physical. Because anybody can come round you up any day with a point of a gun, and oh. so they can, but they can't capture your mind if you know if you if you know that you know, and um, and so the word sovereign, you know, because we were all in the law movement right all these years. I'm no longer a political activist. I'm a spiritual pacifist, but. Um, you know, we uh, the the word word. You know, we always talked about sovereignty and you know having our rights and all these other things. So then, in this uh, process of discovering the uh, Indo-Germanic uh, root forms, and just this one, like came within the last year or two. Uh, then I saw it in in, uh, in the word uh, Abraham. I knew Abraham was like Brahm. You know, it was a similar, and I didn't know how to make the connection. Then I finally got it because you know they changed changed the B. The V was a you know it was a V, but then they made it. Uh, to a B, and so so that's a, one of the key elements that will help you to unravel this mystery. You'll see it in the dictionary. But so so the Abram is really Av Ram. Av Ram A V together means a star, and then the Ram is the superior creature because he's on the top of the mountain. So he's the star Ram, and then it's missing the T and the Z, and then all of a sudden it's a silent T, but you hear the Z. It is the Zav. Ram, the Zav Ram is the star Ram, and that's where the word sovereign originates in the Indo Germanic. You heard it here first. Okay. Nobody talks about this stuff, Ron. Well well they, they well this is why this is why I'm enjoying this so much because people it, it what, what you know, you know what it's like when you're just walking around the street, right? And you're looking at people and you know, when I talk to people I hung out with when I was a teenager and all I'm looking at now is empty headed old men who have no clue about anything 
and it breaks my heart. It really, truly does. Oh, yeah. Because I'm thinking, how is it that, you know, I, I understood this when I, I was 17. I mean, it's a long learning curve, right? But, yeah. but you know, when I was 17, I was starting to tell people this was coming. Okay? Oh. And, and, and they were going to make you weak. Okay? And dependent upon the government. And they're going to make you so weak and so dependent that when they turn on you, you're going to run to them to help uh -huh. you. Yeah. Right. And, and uh, you know, people didn't want to hear any of that stuff. And, uh, and uh, you know, but I, I run into some, you know, some people that really I have a, a lady here who has a cottage here in town from Michigan. And she's in her mid 80s now. I just call her Sparky. And, uh, she, uh, I, we were, we were getting a coffee one day and she, we were sitting in the car and she come over to the car and, and she goes, what the hell's wrong with everybody? Right. Mm -hmm. And I, I go, what do you mean? And she says, what's happened? Everybody looks like they're zombies now or something. What the hell's going on? <laughs> right? right. And, and it's true. You know, you, it, 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 the people yeah. have been so they're messed up. Yeah, they're under alpha alpha state. They they do, really don't know who they are, and they yeah. and they and they've been they've been turned into the Pavlovs. You know um, what was the Pavlov? You ring the bell, and then immediately the dog starts salivating. So they're under Pavlov's rule of control. The this the uh, the triggers. You know the triggers control them. Oh, give me another trigger. Okay, that's what they do with people under direct mind control. You know they give them triggers. You know. Yeah, uh, uh, you know uh, I was in a grocery store and they've got to stand six feet apart. And this lady's in front of me, and, and she tells me I'm too close. And I said, I'm not that close to you. And, uh, you know, I said, if they told you you had to stand seven feet apart, would you? Yes. And if they told you you had to stand 47 feet apart, would you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm thinking, oh, my God, right? <laughs> yeah. You I'm a good slave. People, yeah, you can yeah. tell these people anything, right? Yeah, yeah. And and they will just bow down to it, which was what the, what the whole point of the of the education system was about mm -hmm. I, to make I do. you to Go make ahead. you passive and and bow down to any authority that says anything to you. Yeah, here's a guy that doesn't vaccinate his own children because he knows what the vaccinations are doing to people. Yeah. Right, they're mm -hmm. filling you full of uh, chemicals and and uh, aluminum and every other damn thing. And, uh, and, and which breaks me to a, an old movie. And I, I would, I just, I can't find it again. Years and years ago, I watched this old movie on YouTube, which was either late. It was, it was either in the early twenties, early, early twenties. It, it was an old black and white, uh, silent movie. And it was about the UN. I couldn't believe it. You know, they had, had there was warring factions. There was wars all over the world, and uh, and uh, then they they were running out of uh, planes. You know, the old biplanes and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And uh, then this great big black two wing plane uh, came in, like like a, a normal new plane, mm -hmm. uh, and came down. And they were here to promote peace and uh prosperity <laughs> and uh and told these people that they couldn't fight anymore and and then they went up with the planes the people went back to fighting again and they and they came over with the planes and they sprayed the skies mm -hmm. and everybody went down right okay and yeah. you know with these chemtrails that they're that they're they're spraying, been spraying for for so freaking long I mean, they have the ability, I know they're spraying barium and aluminum in that, which is really tough on the ground, but uh, it makes fires burn burn hotter. But, mm -hmm. but you know, they can come over us anytime they want and, and drop whatever biological weapon they want on us, and, and uh, we're screwed, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, I don't understand why people can't wrap their brain around this. See, people are so used to... Of, of, of wars where bullets are flying and bombs are dropping. They can't get their brain wrapped around the psychological war that we're in. Right? 
mm-hmm. they don't they can't seem to see it you know when we moved to this town that we're in now when i was about 15 years old they had a siren down at the at the park in town and i think it was every tuesday night at eight o'clock the siren would mm-hmm. go off uh, and it was a warning that, you know, uh, they wanted to keep this siren going so that if, if we were being invaded, they could tell people we were being invaded. When I was in high school in grade nine in, in, in Renfrew, Ontario, we were all encouraged to become good marksmen. We had a, a, a gun range in the school. That's all mm-hmm. gone now. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, because we're not in a physical war now, we're in a mental war, a spiritual war. Yeah. And, and people don't see it. They can't seem to see it. And, right. and, 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 and I do believe through your knowledge and, and, and your 40 or 50 years of research in that, uh, you know, understanding the words. Now, I use etymology a lot. And if you go into etymology and you look at a word from, from the 1400s and, and, and look at the meaning of the word today, it's completely different. And they've That's been right. changed over the centuries, uh, just like what you're finding. Uh, so they use the words and the symbols to, to, to lead us to where they want us to go or believe what they want us to believe. And, and we have to get over that. And I do believe that what you've done is, I mean, you really had to get into that. To, you know, I've looked at it, looked at it and and, uh, you know, it takes a special kind of man or woman to really dig as deep as you have dug uh, to understand the symbols and the words and the, and, and the, and the change out of the words and, and all this kind of stuff mm-hmm. and put it together and, and build the dictionary that you've done. And everybody needs to go and look at it and yeah. everybody needs to go and look at your videos yeah. uh, because you're going to get some knowledge there and you're going to wake up from there. Yeah. Let me give another example of the mind control they got us under, uh, Ron. Uh, So in the, in the, oh, and I, and I'll do democracy right after this as well, because that's a good one. Um, So martial law rule. Okay. Here's the definition, a modern concept, cyber code for unannounced martial law. The United States in all capital letters which is a corporation and, and not a legitimate uh, de jour government, right. uh, is the takeover corporation. The United States is the takeover corporation brought in by the Jewish bankers. And, uh, and uh, Roosevelt, him, uh, not, Rose, well, not Roosevelt, but uh, Truman, Harry Truman said, I have sold out my nation. He acknowledged that he was <laughs> deceived by the bankers and didn't realize the implication of what he was doing uh, by creating a central bank in America. But the people who went down with the Titanic did. The wealthy of America that went down with the Titanic would have been in, in opposition to a centralized bank. And so that's why they had to be taken down. Uh, but to, to continue here, so um, the United States is the takeover corporation brought in by the Jewish bankers as holders of the Vatican Trust, uh, circa 1933, under the administration of President Harry Truman, who ultimately declared that he had uh, sold out his own nation in the phony bankruptcy Uh, That's the bank holiday and all that other stuff. Jekyll Island, it all started in 1913 uh, with the the secret meeting uh, of America. So uh, the phony bankruptcy of America, the free uh, of um, the uh, free supposedly, the land of the free uh, supposedly. There is no law. The entire system operates under public policy of merely to keep the peace at any cost. So it's all an illusion. Well, it, 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 the, uh, the, the de jure United States, well, actually it was States of America on the Declaration of Independence, but, uh, and go look, because that's the original name of Amer- what we call America is States of America. And then it became the corporate, uh, the United States, and these are the United Companies, whether you're talking about United Nations, United Kingdom, a United Can Company run by the CIA in Central America. You know, it's the United Companies. They're all united one night. One night. Un is French. UN is French for un, one. Uh, so there's this real cyber code with all this stuff they got going on. Now, when we use the term man, uh, man is... Uh, in Old English, is um, means criminal and sinner, and in the Babylonian Talmud, it, it means uh, you know worse, worse than that. That's why they call us goyim, 
uh, the Jews do because they uh, hate our guts and they uh, uh, don't regard us even as being legitimate uh, creations of, of the great spirit of life, that we are cattle. You know, that's the goy, what the goy is. He's a cattle. Uh, so, so a man and sinner, criminal and sinner, blind, and Welsh, it means spotted. Man, the word man means spotted. So that would be the Irish then, uh, or blemish. And then in uh, the, the uh, Talmud, a mentally deficient animal. And then in uh, German, uh, were, as, uh, as in was. In other words, if you say, I were, then, you know, I was, but you're not present. Just like, you know, in, in the beginning, was the word, but not is the word, right? So they made us like a past tense uh, um, idea, you know, when I say, uh, so werewolf um, is, means man wolf, you know, in that uh, Germanic uh, tongue. And then I'll pull up then I'll, and one more example, and then uh, I'll take give it back to you, to democracy, because you mentioned it when we talked last night, so let me find it here. Um, because I've known about democracy, it's funny, the one thing I remember I learned in my fifth grade class was the meaning of democracy in the Greek. I wasn't learning much else, but I remember it, never forgot, demokratos, for democracy, you know, and then, and then it became very relevant here in our modern times. So let me find it here, D-E, oh, here it is, okay. So it's a Yiddish Hebrew uh, cyber code uh, uh, for rape and oppression worldwide, because that's what we see the result of, you know, is, the, is you know, what happens in this uh, political state. And it's the rape and oppression of people worldwide, democreatos, for demon creation. You can hear it in the word, demon creation, literally orchestrated creation it's an orchestrate orchestrated by uh the you know the ancient aryan brahmin sovereign priesthoods running through the vatican through the jesuits through the the uh, jewish banking um kabbalists and then into the freemasonic scottish rite aka knights templars you know uh, all in on this scam so the the freemasons are are called the the protectors of the democracy you know so um so everything that we see in our modern time you know, is a, is a product of this knowledge that was given to Adam. In other words, as, um, as it was well stated by people, you know, like Graham Hancock, these other uh, ancient archive journalists, you know, they all say, you know, it looks like man came on the scene full blown with this knowledge because all, you know, prior to that you had primitive cultures and they were hunter gatherers, you know, like the, the Neanderthal or the African. But then all of a sudden we have this, uh, event that occurs on the entire planet worldwide, and that's the true Atlantis because it's, they say it was made in a circle. The reason it said that is because the Earth is round, and so this on the entire circuit of the Earth were found to be pyramid civilizations, stone cutting technology that that we can't even reproduce today. The the megalithic size of these things we cannot even lift and place somewhere. You know that they and they, then you talk about the polygonal structures that have five and seven and eight sides at all different, you know, uh, cuts on, you know, on these blocks that it's beyond, it's like they said, let's figure out how we could, you know, uh, make the work hard, as hard as possible and, um, you know, and, uh, and do it that way. So that, you know, however they did it, it's just amazing. So this is um, these, um, so this Aryan, you know, uh, where we get the word arrogant from, you know, it, this culture that, uh, you know, I'm part of that. I also got 25% um, uh, Canaanite Phoenician in me because I'm, I've got spots on my arms. My uh, father, uh, or you know, I have 25% Irish in me. So, so we're you know we're all in the same boat. The flesh means nothing anymore today because it's about the spirit. But uh, nonetheless, the um, you know the the watchers they they conquered the world. I'm trying to remember where I was going with all this now, uh, Ron. I, I got down so many trails. But but nonetheless. Um, they did what they did with, oh, okay, I remember now. So, so they, this knowledge that was breathed into Adam, okay, that, that he knew how everything in, the opera, everything in the universe operated. That's the bright and shining one. And not only that, but blonde hair, blue eyes, white skin, uh, then, um, you know, uh, is the symbolism that should, well, this is where this, this term, you see that because the propaganda says aliens came down and gave us all this technology, but it was the Aryans, alien, Aryan, switch out one letter, you get alien turns into Aryan, you see the code, the greatest show on earth, and so this knowledge that was breathed into Haddam was passed on to his children, this legacy, and then they, they had all this knowledge and, 
and got sensually taken in with their own ego and serpent and then wanted to conquer the world and enslave everybody. But it's this knowledge that was breathed into Adam, the Aryan race, that allowed for our modern civilization to exist today. Otherwise, we would have still been prim you know, primitive hunter-gatherers, but the agriculture, agrarian, by plowing fields and, and channeling water, the Aryans were the ones that, that mastered all that. Uh, selective breeding, uh, you know, uh, the, all of the things that we benefit from today in this technology uh, was the, what was breathed into Adam, the ability to create these things that we don't even know you know, like they want to say aliens came because they built these stone structures. Well, I think aliens must have come and built these cell phones we use. You know, I couldn't build one of those cell phones. I don't even know how to take it apart. You know, wouldn't even try. But, you know, so it's all a matter of perspective. But the history is what rules. And the written history, the father of light has been attempting to communicate with us um, through scripture. You know, and, and the, you've got to find the lost writings, what they took out of our received scriptures, where other people, they just want to go at it like, I think so. Oh, you know, they, they refer to the one as the universe or, you know, but they, but they have no scripture foundation. It's all what they think. Or they've listened to um, uh, David Wilcox over there in England. You know, David Wilcox, I, I can't get over it. I actually have a few friends that follow this guy who, and they never saw his earlier presentations because I did. And here's a guy who said he read 70 books on aliens and UFOs, so now he's an expert, and he says while he's jerking a tear, you know, that the aliens came to visit him and told him it was his job to save the world. David Wilcox, who they prop up, uh, the total mind control victim, and who they prop up as a, a documentary producer, you know, and everybody listens to the guy because all his visuals and all his information are so great, just like Alex Jones, just like David Icke, all shills. All playing yeah, the game uh, on people, you know. Absolutely, uh, you know. It's it's. I don't understand how people, how people get. I don't understand because I guess it, it's the people. They don't read. They don't research. They're followers, and 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 they just when they hear something they think makes sense because they didn't go check it out. Yeah. Uh, they just they just follow it. And and it's really yeah. disgusting. Um, you know, I, I remember I, I I called into Alex Jones one time and, and outed him, and he wasn't very happy about it. But tough luck. Um, uh, you know, I've outed so many people over the years; it's ridiculous. And 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 you know, and then people jump all over me, and then several years later they'll come back and go, you know what, you were right. Like, why don't you people do some research? Right. You know, I, it, here's what my grade seven teacher said back in the 1960s. OK, the only teacher I ever had in my life that, that had anything good to say. And my teacher stood at the front of the class, a young female teacher, blew me away because I was always getting in trouble for challenging and asking questions. Mm -hmm. And uh, and she just stood at the front of the class and said this simple thing. Believe nothing you read, see, or hear until you personally verify the information. Failure to do so opens your mind to accepting all manner of propaganda and outright lies as truth. Mm -hmm. Now, if people would just stick that in their head and, 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 uh, and work from there, you know, because somebody, oh, you know, David Wilcox or Alex Jones or David Eck or somebody said this, and did you check it out? Well, no. Well, duh, <laughs> you know, right. don't be so stupid. Uh, it's, 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 it's really weird because when it's really getting weirder all the time now, because when, you know, uh, you go take a walk, I, I saw a cup, uh, two guys walking down, the, I was driving down the road, down the street. And here's two guys walking down the street together. One guy's up on the sidewalk. And the other guy's down on the road, social distancing. Yeah. And I thought, how brain dead can you possibly become, right? Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, you see it all the time, and it's, it's very difficult. Like when I went to the grocery store, there's 15 people lined up outside the grocery store with a guard at the front of the store, and you can't go in the store until somebody comes out of the store. And, and, uh, and these people are standing out there, and it wasn't very warm yesterday. I'm thinking, why would you do that? Why would you do this? Well, because everybody else is doing it. <laughs> yeah. So, 
you know, I, I really, I really enjoyed today. I really, truly did. I haven't, I haven't talked to Doug in about three years. And, uh, and, uh, I remember your show. I loved, I loved when you had your network, uh, going down in Georgia. Yeah, it was taken down by about half a dozen double troubles. That's how it happens. You got Oh, is that how it went down? Oh, yeah. It took him a couple of years. But, um, you know, when you do this out of your back pocket, when you can't have a regular job and do both, and you yeah. live by donations, you know, yeah. that was on a, on a, on a thread. And so uh, six years, and then ultimately I was taken down, you know, sure. No, uh, and, uh, you know, I just, it was just amazing to me because I really had to work hard to get a hold of Doug as I didn't have his uh, new phone number and, and uh, it took me a few days to, to, to get a hold of him. And uh, so I can't say how much I enjoyed the two of you guys being on the show today and hopefully we can do it again sometime. But oh, uh, we want to get in that, we want to get something going. Uh, We've got to get this other website up and running and I want to put your information up there as well. Uh, I'm going to put it over on if, my blog right away. If you, if you can direct them, you know, that they can uh, make a donation. Yeah, and absolutely. If they can, and if they can't, will, we'll give it to them anyway. You well, know, I'll, I'll, I'm going to put up the docs, and I'm going to, and I'm going to uh, get your information from your, your email and all that kind of stuff. You can just send it to me, and I'll put that in there so they can uh, do their thing. Yeah. Um, and uh, because this, uh, this information is really important for people, it's difficult for them to wrap their brain around, uh, for it's sure. Work. It's a work. Uh, you got to work at but, it. You know. Well, you do, but it, it, you know, I, I do believe that this particular virus, which is a fraud, uh, which was created uh, for to uh, take down, you know, it's like almost like 1933 that you were talking about the banking thing, right? Yeah. They want to bankrupt uh, the nations, and then you know the plan is that they take control of all resources on the planet. Uh, kill the nation state, move to city states, and uh, give you the guaranteed income, uh, which uh, absolutely enslaves everybody on the planet. And I think that what's going on now is so dramatic that yeah. people are really starting to ask and want to know stuff. And I, I do believe that you oh, yeah. your information is is it's like what i told you when i said you know i was when i was about seven years old a voice in the sky said just keep asking questions keep challenging people are going to want the knowledge down the road i do believe yeah. we're there now oh yeah and i just yeah. wanted to add i remembered at one point um ron and it was about the fact that what they are the arians were called um it was this the sky gods and the sun gods, right? That's and they, they converted that into invisible creatures with wings on their back. But the sky gods and the sun gods, all of this terminology goes directly to the Aryan, blonde hair uh, of, of the light of the sun, uh, the the white skin of the brightness of a star, and the blue eyes for the sky. Those are the sky gods. So the ancients, when they saw this symbolism in the taller, uh, perfect-looking, you know, Aryan type, that was. Um, you know the the mo you know how how it, it it came out originally. They were the, this uh, blonde here. That's why there's a debate. They say you know the Aryans. Oh well, no, they came from the west. No, they came from the east. Oh, actually, they came right from in between both, right in the middle, in the land of the Mediterranean of the, um, um, the Mesopotamia, in between the two rivers, and also in the Lake Ganazare, now called Lake of Galilee. That was where the first watchers lived. So that's a story we can pick up on another time and um, and share with your listeners. I, I so much appreciate you coming on the show. Uh, this the people needed to hear this badly. Um, so we're just about out of time. So can you can you just you don't have a website, right? Uh, I, well, I, they can go check out my radio museum just to see the work I've done in the past. They can go to therealpublicradio.net. The word the t h e the real public radio. Dot net, all one word, and then check out, um, you know. Uh, oh, you still uh, have the archives there? No archives there now at this time, but they, we got the archives on YouTube. I gave out the YouTube information at the beginning so they yeah. can find a couple years, several years worth of YouTubes, okay? M well, if you, can, if you can do, we're just, we're just about done here, but if you can uh, uh, email me or, or Skype me uh, the, the different uh, you got it. YouTube at the back sites of the in there. 
at the back of the dictionary. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because I I will post all that up on my blog. It's a banner. Uh, In other words, uh, you'll yeah, see it. yeah. I will post all that and uh, make sure that people get to it, and uh, probably put up on Facebook as well, um, and uh, and make sure people get a hold of this stuff because they really do need to listen to it. They need to understand it, and now you got the dictionaries. They need to read it. Right? Yeah, the work has been done. All they got to do is pick it up and read. No yeah. research needed, you know. Mm-hmm. But anyways, I want to thank you so much, Desert, for coming on the show. I want to thank the listeners. I want to thank Revolution Radio, FreedomSlips.com for giving me this time every every Sunday. And uh, we'll be back next week, and hopefully we'll have Desert back on in the not-too-too-distant future. Next week, I'm going to have a gentleman on uh, from Nigeria. And uh, that's very interesting because the the similarities between what's going on here in the West and what's going on over there and who's funding it, which is the same people that are funding over here is uh, hopefully that will uh, make some connections for some people as well. Thank you, Ron. Been a pleasure. Okay. Thank you very much, Desert. Thank you listeners and uh, everybody have a wonderful Easter Sunday because we're out of here. Okay. Take care and bye-bye. Peace and love.